What a wonderful day it is today. My name is Nigel Luke, and you know you love me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, spin the bone above the bed. Why? Because it gives good luck throughout the day. And look at this view. We finally defeated Mummy Man, aka the wizard, Dr. Forehead. He's run away. He's flown up into his dark cloud, which we've moved. And everything's back to normal. Moo Moo and Moo Moo's best friend is here. To give me some milk. Basically, this my name's Nitro, and we're in Nitro's World of Adventures. And yes, you guys want to be milk. No, don't you run away from me, you naughty little cows. And what we do is, we always love to have a beautiful, fresh, English, British cup of tea. Now, because I'm an English dog, we always throw the milk in the tea machine 6000. And inside there is a wonderful and wondrous cup of tea. Yeah, simple, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, Wizard Horace had a bit of a mare, which means he got rid of the lava, and now it's all... <laughs> it's all ice. Yeah, and uh, we can actually go skating on there. Very, very cool. Very unique. Now, we can't actually go fishing, but what we can do is throw a fish inside here, and we can know. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Will there be... Yeah, oh my... No. Nah. This can't be real. There might actually be a fish inside here. Okay, come on, just a little bit more. You'll get a fish. Come on, Nitro. Slimo bet me that I couldn't get a fish. And? Come on, just wait for it. Wait for it. Patience. Patience. And? What? No. Do you know what? Yeah, I, it was too good to be true. No fish for me today. Well... Anyway, we're back. The world is shining, the birds are singing, and yeah, Slimo's house looks a bit messed up, but you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm so joyous today. Slimo is my best friend, and he's actually made out of slime, just like his house in the slime blind plaid. Slime plaid, hello, Slimo. It's your boy, Nitro Luke. Slimo? Hello? What took you so long? What do you mean you weren't excited to see me? That's not any way to treat your best friend, buddy. Why are you so slow today? Oh, I see. You missed the action. Yeah, you don't have to keep killing nasties and mobs just to have a good day. You know that, don't you, Slimo? All right. All right, come on then, Slimo. So, Wizard, Ho Wizard Horace. I was just going to say your name and you appeared. It's like you almost knew that I wanted to speak to you. Now, Wizard Horace he is a wizard. He got rid of the dark cloud. Yes, we all know. Wonderful you. It's all about me, me, me. I'm only joking, guys. I am literally so excited that I can't even concentrate on what we really need to do here. We have Wizard Horace on the run as Salimo and me work together on a brand new little thing. We, we think you should make a teleportation thing, Wizard Horace. What do you mean? You've already knew what we wanted and you've come up with a teleportation device, which is called the Bonfire and you're building it right now, even though we were literally just saying that we wanted to do a teleportation device, but you're doing it first so that you look cooler than me and Slimo. What, do you know what? I'm not going to argue with you, Wizard Horace. You are a very, very interesting individual. What is this? What is this? This doesn't look anything like a teleportation device. He says, bear with him for a minute. Okay, a beacon. I'm not quite sure what this is. What is this, Wizard Horace? Give us more information to where we know exactly what we need to do. Hold the phone. Are you being serious? You just built that so that therefore you were higher than all of us to where you could build a giant beacon teleportation device. Interesting. Wait. That is the teleportation device. You're using bonfires to interconnect with smoke, with powers to connect to other bonfires so that we can teleport from different bonfire to bonfire. Hmm. I'm not sure that this is going to work, Wizard Horace. Yeah. Honestly, your inventions are really cool, but this one, I don't think is going to work. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nothing you can say or do is going to make this make sense to me, buddy. Nope. Hmm. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I believe you. 
I believe you. He says we will, we need to go into the fire and, and burn and, and die. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go on then. Go on then. Burn and die. You, we'll watch you. What do you mean we need to do it? No, me and Slimeman are not doing it. You just built a giant beacon, yeah? And it, it's not even, like, similar to my own builds. Like, right now, everything's just out and not looking kind of... What are you doing, Wizards? I don't I mean I'm joking. It's amazing. It's an amazing build. Please don't hurt me. But the smoke... Whoa, you're attracting spiders, dude. You're attracting spiders. How do we get up there, Wizard Horus? Yeah, do we need to get up there? Oh! Well, would you look at that? He always surprises us, and now we didn't even need to. Yeah, you're laughing, aren't you? You just try to scare us. What the... Slime is going on over there, Slimo. There seems to be some sort of camp. Hello? Oh, I'll be quiet. Shh. It's Horus, put your put your thing away. It's Horus. Hello, it's Horus. Uh, he's gonna hear us. He's gonna hear us. Oh, there's an iron golem in here. No, he's actually got an iron golem in the cage. I remember saying last episode that we need an iron golem to protect the land. We'll break you out, buddy. We'll break you out. Right, Wizard Horus, Slimo, we need to figure this out. Whoever that man is in there, let's try and work out something. Hello? Excuse me? Yeah? Yes, you thing. Yeah, you weird-eyed man. Okay, yeah, yeah. We want that I am golem. Whoa, calm down, bro. Yeah? We'll do what? No, we ain't doing any of that. No, we ain't doing any of that. No way. Just give us the I am golem or else. All right, fine, 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 fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. Literally, I'm not one of those guys that likes to pussyfoot around and just mess around. I honestly think if we actually do this, what this guy is asking, we'll be absolutely fine. Hmm. Okay, fine. Yeesh. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll build you a fort. Fine. So what he wants us to do is we, he wants us to build us a giant fort instead of this boring camp here. He's set up. Yes, I'm talking to my guys. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, we've set. He's set up, and he's want the iron golem to protect him only when there's mobs out at night. So he's in a cage. That's not how you look after him. So what we'll do is we'll build the fort now, but then you've got to give us the iron golem because we'll make your fort so good that the fort itself will defend you from all the nasties. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Let's do this. So, let's get ahead. All the materials are inside here. Ready for us inside the barrel. The merchant seems to say that if we build it for him as well, that he might be our future merchant in different episodes as well. He's not a very nice guy, but sometimes the sale type of kind are not the nice type of kind. It's just one of those things, ladies and gentlemen. It's just one of those things. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and continue building this. No, not one of those annoying things. Just Wizard Horus, shoot it. Shoot it right now. So, I'm going to get all the materials. It's taking like two years, okay? Like everybody right now, I'm just a bit of a drama queen today. I just don't really... Yeah, fire it. Fire it. Yeah, hit it. There we go. Oh my goodness. And you hit one. Whoever hit it. I think it was a merchant. All right. That's how we know. We do not want to mess with the merchant. He's good at shooting arrows. Right. Be careful that the horse and the arrows don't land down, guys. Remember, you're firing arrows in the air. What goes up must go down. All right. Wizard Horus, you start building over there. Slimo, if you help him. Yeah. Merchant, you could definitely help us as well. Ow! I don't want to be hit by that thing. Yeah? Golly. Okay. If we build this like this, we build this down... Yeah, we obviously want to make it look really wood oak-like, but we don't want to make it really straight and pointy. We want to sort of give a different feel for it. We don't necessarily need patterns. Wizard Horus seems to have a pattern going on right there, and I think we'll probably just follow... Ow! Why is that thing keep hitting me? Okay? I'm just not happy about this. I'm just, I'm just so... I'm just so happy today, and everyone's just being so mean to me. And it's just not fair, Okay? Okay, anyway, basically, back to what we were doing is building the wall. Uh, it's looking quite good, actually, being, like, a random pattern sort of thing. But I'm not sure if we just, like, build up 
and stick to the you know routine that way we'll understand exactly what's going on so we jump up basic building uh hopefully merchant you've defeated that thing that's in the air otherwise we are in big trouble buddy we're in big trouble i do not want to die i do not want to die i do not want to have to respawn yeah in this world i never ever will ever 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 die there we go so let's jump up to the top beautiful Excuse me, horse. Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, my hell. What the? What the? the oh, boy. He just sent me in the air. He sent me in the air. Right. Slimo's putting fences at the very top, which is like little pointy bits that don't let the mobs crawl over or climb over. That'd be pretty cool. Um, let's destroy this because this is not the correct block as well. Let's also jump up. And now we're perfect. Sometimes building up and down can get really difficult. You've got to be super careful as well not to fall on the floor. Otherwise, you'll lose life, and that is bad as well. Losing life is pretty bad because you can then die, and that's not good. That's not good. That's real bad. All right, jumping up the oak logs, and now jumping up the... Oh, God, not again. You know, make it these cute little mistakes. That horse will stop jumping. You are really distracting me, buddy. You are really distracting me. All righty. Keep building that way merchant we've nearly built your fort around this area so you're like proper protected right now now the thing is he didn't want to build this through the night because it gets a bit scary hence why the iron golem was sort of trapped in a cage but that's not how you look after iron golems all right you really need to make sure that the pattern's perfect yeah let's build this up like this and we're then good to go okay brilliant uh now we've got the double double wood oak right there and doubling it up sometimes makes it look a little bit less pattern like We'll just keep going around and we build it in threes and then we build this in one and then that will give the pattern there. It really is important if you want to like make it look good. You do want to make patterns. Uh, let's jump up here. And if you're with me, you're following me with me right now, you'll be able to build a fort like this as well. A lot of people don't build walls out of oak or anything whatsoever. Um, they just build them out of stone and stuff. And I think sometimes when you're building your own builds, like think about like a camp that you could make look really cool like you look behind me look look at all the colors it looks so realistic as well with the bandit camp um or and it's not actually a bandit camp but you know it's a merchant camp and all of a sudden this whole area now looks super protected where we can't even like get defeated but i just i have to say that every time i see a band i'm just real tired but yeah that's it man we built the walls looking good the horse fills it we could probably take the iron golem no creatures gonna be able to defeat us and i would actually say that the back fort part slimo is doing such a good job better than me um and maybe we could use the bonfires maybe any bonfires to connect to the beacons i think that's the idea so maybe we could teleport this iron golem to the beacon outside our home yeah i don't know what to call you dude i really don't i just call you mr golem big big g yeah big g that's what your name is big g i've named it right there keep it up guys keep putting all those fences around the merch has got a good interconnected part we've got the bonfire we have ready to take this bad boy um and maybe you know we'll add a door i think the merchants added a door anyway on the exit point of where the iron golem can exit he's blocked off at our area to where we live he lives actually really close to where we are um i'm not sure if this is gonna be like a permanent setup or anything but as you can see, everyone is jumping up and down right now. They've finally finished the walls. And it's kind of crazy. When you actually have friends and you have like a team of you working together, you could save such a monotonous, which means boring, boring thing of building just to save time. Now, this guy would have taken like five days to build this. Now he's able to build it straight away, which is so cool. And he's got his hay, he's got a bonfire, he's got his tent, he's got his door, which you do kind of need to make a gate for him. Maybe we need to make a double door. And he'll go out into whatever he wants to go out over there. Maybe he can, like, get some customers that comes through. And it's like a checkpoint system where, you know, this is like a checkpoint to, between another land. Oh, my goodness, really? I'm being hit by a boat. I'm going to die. Please, somebody save me. Yes, well done, well done. They're all out there. Going to go save me pretty crazy they just rushed as hard as they could to try and save me from dying which is kind of crazy you guys are awesome do you know what merchant you're not actually that bad i just think you've just not been looked after when you were younger and therefore you don't even know how to look after iron golems i can see that because you've got a blue eye and a green eye and i mean i don't really know what i'm saying no, yeah I, I should shut up now yeah you're right but he says hey he's gonna free the iron golem mr g you're gonna be ours so he's gonna break free mr g mr g 
congratulations you are now going to be stepping outside into the world of nitro's world of adventures and you're going to help us out buddy here we go yay look at mr g so happy yeah baby okay mr g you could tell he already wants to go and help us he's literally that's he's going walking towards our own house he wants to leave and go well you know what you can come with us well in fact come on buddy we'll take you back all right come on come on wizard horace said teleporting the, on the bonfire ain't gonna work no nope, it's not gonna work we have to walk right merchant we'll see you soon okay we'll be in touch yeah if you get any more iron golems let us know oh mr g you're so cool you're so cool. You're literally the coolest iron golem ever. Oh my god, I dropped the rope. I dropped the rope. Um, I think he knows where we live. I think he actually knows where we live. Yeah, he'll be back soon. I reckon he'll be back soon. Yeah, right. We gave him goodbye for the moment. He definitely knows where we live. He's going to go hang out over there. And he's going to help us out really well. He's so cool, isn't he, Mr. G? Wizard Horace, you're so good, by the way. Giving us a teleportation thing. You know, oh, and back we go. Okay, see, I say the word and we're already back. Why didn't you bring the Iron Golem with us? We mean it was too much effort to take... No, no, we're going to get that guy back. Mr. G is going to be in more videos and we're going to sort this out. But, you know, what a cute episode that was. You know, working together, having a teleportation device, having a bit of friendship, joking back and forth. You building that. We're building the banding camp or the merchant camp. Well... Wizard Horace, get out of buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Slimo, yeah, we did well good today. I'll see you later. We'll go into uh, the next episode. We'll figure out something else that we can do, and it'll be real awesome. Yeah, all right, bye, buddy. Oh, man, this is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hitting that like button. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. You guys are so cool and so awesome. Welcome to Nitro's World of Adventures, and I really look forward to making more videos for you guys. Yeah? Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lashon DX, and subscribe and see you in the next episode!